Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today's episode, we're doing Monday Motivation. Again, that's right. We're back to doing Monday Motivations on a regular basis. Uh, uh, once a week? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so today, um, I have uh, you know a lot of things on my plate. I have a lot of things that I'm doing, and I'm gonna show you around as to you know what I'm doing, what I've been doing, um, what the house is looking like, um, as you saw, I just came from my little tunnel area there, the little um, space in between my house. Um, we got the house, uh, you know, starting to get cleaned up and all that good stuff. Um, I actually filmed already another intro and I pushed the wrong button and anyways, but all right. So let me get to what we're doing today. See, look at Gizmo. Maybe you guys can see him down there. He's under the, the desk. But as you guys can see, we have already done some cleaning up somewhat and things are looking better here look at my office check that out so today is thursday and um it's like four o'clock in the afternoon almost and i'm i'm literally processing a video look, look this is how i process my videos as you guys can see i got fans on all sides it's so crazy hot it's uh, again the end of september um, and you guys already know hot and humid out here and we just can't wait for fall to actually begin But anyways, this is my computer. This is my desk. You see I got various notes and stuff all over the place I'm trying to keep it organized for the time being but earlier today I was filming the last Medida Mexico update because things are starting to get back to normal So I have no real need to continue making a lot of the virus updates that I was making for the travel channel because well, guess what, you know what I mean? Like things are getting back to normal. So now that things are starting to get back to normal in every which way possible, well, it's time to get back on the horse. Turn, literally. It's time to get back in the saddle, all right? And start to get back to, to work and then and all that stuff. So with that being said, we need some Monday motivation. I need some motivation myself. Even though I have not have I've been, I have been nonstop, and um, especially this week, been very busy. Today, extremely busy. Again, this is the second, third episode I'm filming today. Second <laughs> um, episode because I'm doing the podcast later. But um, so, but 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 regardless, it's, I can't stop, and I'm not going to stop. It's not that, not that I'm doing this for any kind of monetary value or monetary incentive. It's because this is what I love to do and what I need to do and I gotta continue doing it or otherwise it's just gonna stop. I mean, it's as simple as that. Let me make sure I can still see me. Okay, poop, perfect. We got good lighting up in here. Not bad for a GoPro. So um, today as I'm, I, know, I, I still gotta wait a few hours for this thing to process, okay? In the meantime, I said to myself, well, I still got a long laundry list of things to do one of the things that I need to do is clean the kitchen. I actually got to clean the stainless steel. Um, I looked up some videos on how to clean the stainless steel. I still don't want to clean the stainless steel. I hate cleaning. I'm sure most of you guys feel the same way, but I had to be doing, I had to do it. So I was like, how can I make this fun for myself? How can I enjoy this? How can I make this better? So I said, I know I'll make a video out of it. So I'm going to see if I can make a video on for the cooking channel on how to clean stainless steel, some short little video I can put on my channel. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna you know, give you the behind the scenes as I record that, what I'm gonna be doing in the kitchen, what I'm doing here today. Um, just talking about the Monday motivation aspect of all this, okay? Let's uh, check out the kitchen for a minute. We got Christian up in here doing some dishes because she just had something to eat. But as soon as she's done with these dishes here, I'm gonna clear all this out and then clear the kitchen out, You know, clear all the stuff from the aluminum, uh, from the stainless steel tables, and then I'm gonna clean it. How am I gonna clean it? Well, I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using some baking soda. I'm gonna be using some baking soda and some vinegar. Yeah, exactly. No chemicals or anything like that. Baking soda, vinegar, and some limes. I think right there they are. Good. All right, we're still good. First, put water all over the sink. Cover all the stainless steel in water. The second thing you're gonna do is that you are gonna put the baking soda all over just literally just put baking soda all over the stainless steel the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to scrub with that scrub brush you know again a light you know scrubby pad you know and just scrub all that baking soda into the stainless steel as so So 
the next thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna get a lime and you're gonna cut it in half and then you're gonna use that as a scrubby pad and then just scrub and scrub away. Just keep scrubbing and scrubbing and you're gonna immediately start seeing it start you know, clearing up and looking nice and shiny, but we still got a ways to go, so just keep scrubbing with that lime. Next thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna just uh, wash all that off with the water. So just wash the whole sink off with water. Just clean water and then wipe it down. It doesn't have to be completely dry, but just wipe it down as much as you can. Then the next thing you're gonna do is put vinegar all over the place. So just literally spray the whole thing. Put vinegar in a, vinegar in a spray bottle and then just spray the whole sink. Spray, spray, spray. And then wipe it down with another clean rag. Get a, another clean, you know, vinegar only rag and just wipe it all down. Once you wipe it all down with vinegar, then you're gonna wipe it dry. Now you need to get another rag and wipe it dry. Make sure everything is nice and dry. And the last step, the last and final touch is that you're gonna get some olive oil, okay? And then you're gonna literally polish the metal. Okay, so now we're gonna get olive oil and just polish away and just make it look brand new. Again, the oil is gonna get into all the little crevices and then, you know, just kind of like, uh, you know, what you're doing there is like you're doing the same thing that you would do with a cast iron skillet, only you're doing it with stainless steel. Again, on a minor level. That's it, guys. That's all she wrote. Look at that. Nice and shiny and brand spanking new. And that's it. All right, but like I said, I need to um, convince myself, you know, to do this because I don't want to do it. But we've been doing a lot of work today, you know what I mean? Um, while we're waiting for Kristen to finish up, see, look, we cleaned the backyard some more. We just did some laundry. We got more laundry to do. Um, but see, like the backyard's already looking good, nice. And again, you know, sometimes we got to wake ourselves up, you know what I mean? And motivate ourselves to get to work and do all this stuff. But slowly but surely, it's starting to come together. We're working on it. We're getting there and all that good stuff. If you guys were wondering where I was walking through at the beginning of the episode, it was through here. All right. <laughs> but anyway, so today is Monday Motivation. And why am I doing Monday Motivation? Well, very simply, the reason we're doing Monday Motivation is because um, if you guys aren't aware yet, on this channel right now, um, a couple of weeks ago, YouTube decided to um ban my live streaming capability so i can't do live streaming anymore on this channel and um at least until early december but in the meantime it doesn't mean that i can't you know upload videos in fact i'm gonna ask you guys now what kind of videos you want me to upload to this channel um from now on because i got like four channels in case you guys aren't aware i got a cooking live channel which is doing great i got a travel channel which again i just filmed an episode for and i'm upload i'm you know processing so i can upload later I got a podcast, which is doing amazing, a lot of fun. And um, we got the original channel, which is what you're watching this on. But as you guys already know, for uh, some of you, for, for the new people out there, welcome. Hi, how's it going? Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. And for the older people that have been watching me for a while, you guys already know I have all kinds of content on this channel. I talk everything from politics to everyday life to what's going on in, uh, con you know, con the conspiracy world to what's going on with... Um, you know, everything from crypto, Bitcoin, um, and just anything and everything in, in between. Again, a lot of you guys already know I cover all kinds of subjects. In fact, I used to cover living out here in Merida until Merida, Mexico, until I decided to create a, my own channel just dedicated to that. All right, to help, you know, um, so that my, my videos don't get taken away. Because again, you know, it, it's, I'm, the reason I'm doing this motivational video too on top of everything else is because, you know, unfortunately, you know, I have uh, been dealing with a lot of uh, censorship from YouTube. And I've been dealing with a lot of situations with YouTube. You know, not fun situations. Let me see. Can you see me out here? All right. Let's just hang out here. A lot of fun and uh, not fun situations. Oh, look. It's about to rain. Look, look at that. A lot of non-fun situations with YouTube themselves. So, you know, with that being said, yeah, I just want to make sure there's no turds out here. I don't want to be stepping on a, on a doggy. Pa uh, patty <laughs> and a little crabby patty from uh, from gizmo but anyways 
even though I've been censored, you know, it's not, it hasn't stopped me. That's why I've created all these other channels and I've uh, spread my wealth. You know, I, I'm all over the internet doing all kinds of things, you know, exactly for that because I don't want to be um, just disappear. If I put all my eggs in one basket, again, this is part of the motivational stuff. Why you got to diversify and spread yourself around a little bit is because if you put all your eggs in one basket, well, guess what? If I have all my eggs in one basket, meaning this channel, man you know what i mean they, they have me by the balls and they can do and take it away like like that but if i have various channels with various followings and you know i'm literally all over the place well again yeah they can take away this channel but they still can't take away the other stuff and if they do well whatever you know what i mean i guess i gotta give myself a pat in the back i must be doing something right <laughs> but the point is is that you know I got to keep it going. And so with that being said, you know, the only thing that I had going on this channel was the Wednesday live streams. And I would put up an episode every once in a while, but it wasn't every day just because, again, I have all the channels now. I got other stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm uh, taking care of. Yeah, man. Sorry. I got the sun in my eyes. Um, but, you know, with that being said, can you see me there? You can see me there. Um, I'm still making videos for this channel, but again, it, was, it wasn't as much as before because... I was just doing the live streams every Wednesday and I was producing content for all the other channels. But now that they took my live streaming capabilities away from here, it's like, well, I gotta, you know, we gotta get back to the drawing board and see what we're gonna do. I, I mean, I don't wanna stop making content. You know, this is the, the channel that I used to show you my personal vlog and my personal life and all that good stuff. So we're gonna continue doing that. And, um, you know, part of all that is, uh, well, let's do Monday motivation because Again, in this instance right here, when I'm trying to figure out how, what, what kind of video I'm gonna make for this channel, you know, um, I just made a video a couple days ago and nobody, barely nobody watched it. Um, you know, talking about a lot of the things that I normally talk on this channel. So I know that doing the Monday Motivation stuff is something that is uh, loved by all. And a lot of you guys are constantly asking me, hey, when am I gonna do them again? So I decided that, well, this is the perfect time to bring it back. and. Uh, and start getting back on, you know, again, back, back in the saddle, back in the horse, and all that stuff. What's up, Gizmo? What are you looking at? What are you looking for? Looking for trouble. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know what I mean? So that's what we're doing here. And um, so I decided, you know what? Let me see um, how far I can take this. So I was gonna show you, you know, just me doing a little bit of cleaning around the house. But I think, you know, the whole cleaning thing, I don't necessarily have to show you. You know, you, know, you see me doing enough dishes and shit like that Wow. I'm doing the cooking live stream and all that. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an insight into my brain, into my head, into like my everyday life. And so originally, like I said, this was my vlog. This was my story. This was my everything. So I think that that's what I'm going to end up going back in, back to. We're going to be doing Monday Motivations. Um, I'm definitely going to start, you know, telling you guys my life story again. I have a lot of uh, videos talking about, you know, my weight loss, you know, when I gave up cigarettes, you know, my crazy stories in the kitchen, my crazy stories in Seattle, my crazy stories and just my crazy stories um, and uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, I don't want to stop that. You know, I can't necessarily put that on the other channels because, you know, they don't fit um, when I'm doing the podcast. Well, it's just a podcast. We're just chatting, talking, all kinds of random things. And it's, it's a little weird. But when I do these videos, when I do stuff tailored to this channel again i can tailor just an episode you know hey we're talking about monday motivation how to just get started again how to get back on there again so you guys have already been listening to me for literally about 11 minutes and um you still have no idea what the hell we're talking about today in the monday motivation and the thing is it's like this um the hardest part the hardest thing to do in order to get started is get started that is the hardest thing so for me like i already explained to you i have a lot of things i got to do the main thing i got to do is clean the kitchen that i don't want to fucking do so now you know what i mean the way that I, I encourage myself to do this is by let me get the camera out let me film it let me make it fun let me enjoy this and then at the same time i get to do a monday motivation i get to clean the kitchen i get to do probably a, i'm gonna do a video on how the the, the clean stainless steel and all of a sudden i got two pieces of content and I got a clean kitchen and I feel extremely accomplished and um and again I'm, I'm I just I feel just as tired as if I would have just done one of those those things or none because again you get just as tired from sitting on your ass doing absolutely nothing okay so <laughs> that being said I got Christian in the background there you know making some funny faces trying to distract me you know hi <laughs> you want to be on camera okay <laughs> But again, you know, you gotta you gotta figure out the motivational things. You know what I mean? You gotta like motivate yourself. You know, um, 
And, and then however however you do it, you know what I mean? Like it might be going on online, going to YouTube and finding a motivational video just to have somebody tell you, hey, motivate yourself to fucking do X, Y, Z. Or you can just do what I did and just kind of like put it all together. You look, a lot of times when I used to do my Monday motivations back in the day, you know, they were um, just me um, walking to the Walmart to get some groceries. And it's something that I had to do already, and it was not necessarily fun every single time, but I knew that if I brought my camera and I was bringing you guys with me and we were having a conversation on the walk over there and on the walk back, well, you know, that made time not just fly, but it made it so much more fun. And so now, you know, in order for you guys to motivate yourselves to start doing things, um, you guys start need to, need to like, uh, you guys need to gamify things, you know, you guys need to make it fun for yourself because look, there's a lot, my life is a lot of fun. I enjoy a, almost everything I do in my life. But again, if I got to come out here and I got to clean, um, the dog's turds, or if I got to go and clean the stainless steel in the kitchen, or if I got to sweep the house, you know, with my wife or clean the front yard or do laundry, you know, none of that shit's fun. But I gotta do it anyway, and I gotta motivate myself to do it. And so that's the thing, you know what I mean? And we all do that. Again, again, the whole cooking aspect, the why I started a live cooking channel is because I wanted to get away from eating out and getting away from eating all that crap. And so I wanted to eat healthier. So I, I just, I decided to outfit this kitchen. You know what I mean? Here, I'll show you the kitchen again for anyone out there that hasn't seen it yet. I decided to outfit this kitchen, all right? Stainless steel everywhere, make a very nice, comfortable kitchen for me to work in and have fun in. So that way, it'll be fun and it'll be a pleasure, you know, for me to, um, you know, to cook on a daily basis. All right, and, uh, and make it fun and easy. Um, you know what I mean? If I got all kinds of ingredients, all right, everywhere, I got like 7,000 types of beans back here. All right, and all that shit. And so like I said, you know, I always have something to do. There's no more excuses. You know, so that's the thing. That's part of the motivation. You got to make it easier on yourself. You got to help yourself, you know, get there. So, you know, how, how did I, how am I going to make it easy? I mean, how did I make it easy for myself for, so I can cook on a daily basis, film? And then, by the way, after that, that's when the whole filming thing started coming about because I was like, well, if I'm going to be doing all this and I got all this space and all that, well, might as well film it. Might as well start doing that because, again, you know, it, it, there's only so much of uh, the negativity that I can talk about, you know, when it comes to like all the things that are happening around the world. I always try to put a positive spin on it, but you already know, man, it's, it's difficult. So I, I decided to start making content that is going to be just pure entertainment and um, and ho hopefully not just help me, but help you guys. And, and it's already, you know, you guys have already been telling me so much about how it's helping you guys literally disconnect. So all of a sudden you're watching me in the kitchen you know, cooking, getting burned, dropping shit, having fun, listening to music, you know, with the dog, with the wife, you know, all kinds of craziness. And I'm enjo enjoying myself, entertained. You guys are enjoying yourself and you're entertained. And at the same time, you know, we're all just helping, you know, continue to push that positivity. You know, it's about the rain, all right? Let's see if it rains while I'm out here. And start pushing all that together into one, you know, uh, into the positive direction, into the, into the, into the direction that we want to go in. And not allow other entities to infiltrate our space and our minds and our and our everything, because we're too preoccupied with other shit. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like that same mentality. You know what I mean? Where you know you gotta you gotta make it easy on yourself. So when it comes to like the whole kitchen thing, you know, not only do I live in an area where I can just walk like two houses down, and I already got people selling me all kinds of ingredients and all kinds of things to. I can cook anything I want, but then whenever I'm out and about, I make sure that like, if I'm in a really nice, if I'm in a store that sells a bunch of ingredients that I normally don't have access to, well, I go on a shopping spree and I just start shopping for these ingredients and put them in my pantry. And I got my pantry right now full of so many ingredients that I'm not gonna use all at the same time, but I know that they're gonna hold and they're gonna stay there for a while. And then that way, whenever I need to do a live stream, I don't have to be like a cooking live stream. I'm like, you know, it's, it's easier to motivate myself because otherwise I was like, well, I got to go to the store and I got to pick up these ingredients and I got to do this and I got to do that. And then I got to set the whole thing up. And it's just before you know it, it's really hard. I mean, it's really easy to fucking just get out of it, you know, to just get out of that mentality. Like I want to, I want to do this and unmotivate yourself. Very easy to unmotivate yourself. But, and, and the way I've set myself up, which is again, the way I tell you guys to set yourselves up, you know, set yourself up for, for success is very easily, um, you know, help yourself, you know what I mean? So 
instead of hindering yourself. So again, like I said, you know, I, I put up all these shelves. It took a lot of work to set all this up, but totally worth it. You know, I got all these shelves up here. Again, you see it's, it's made out of wood. I just kind of like made it, you know, with the help of uh, some, uh, a worker. But again, it was just a point where I just needed to have comfortable ability. You know, people were asking me, how come you don't got shelves? I mean, how come you don't got cabinets and this and that? And I'm like, again, because I just want to, you know, come into the kitchen and cook. And that's it. So anyways, so I got all kinds of ingredients here. I got all kinds of ingredients there. I got all kinds of ingredients here. Got shit everywhere. There's little Cesar says hi. Hi. You know, I got shit everywhere. I got stuff in the fridge and everywhere else, you know, uh, everything. And I'm just, and then, and then all I need to do is that, let's just say that I got to cook something tomorrow. I, I don't, I, all I li literally just got to walk in the kitchen, see what I have and be like, okay, I got these beans, I got chicken, I got this. Okay, so let's make this, 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 and that. And that's it. Oh, fuck, I need one ingredient for this. Oh, it's okay. I'll just jump in my bike and go get it. You feel me? And if, even if that's too much trouble, I just don't make it or I make something else. And that's the thing. It's like just making it very, very easy. And then just like once a week or once in a while, you know what I mean? I'll go to the store and I already got my ongoing list again. And I'm just constantly replenishing and replacing. And, and so a lot of you guys are probably, you know, some of you guys understand that everything I'm saying right here could be literally verbatim, you know, used for whatever it is you're having trouble with on your end or whatever project you're trying to do or whatever thing it is you're trying to do over there to motivate yourself to do it. Um, some of you guys that have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, well, again, you guys need a lot more work on the motivational aspect of these things because, man, you know, there's, there's two types of people out there. You know, the kind of person that motivates themselves you know, like me, like some of you guys, and the kind of people that just, um, there's n not enough out there to motivate them. And look, guys, I know there's a lot of you guys that watch these Monday motivation videos. We're going to be doing these on a regular basis again, you know, once a week and all that. Um, and I know a lot of you guys watch these uh, videos, uh, and uh, you guys are thinking to yourself maybe, oh, you guys are might be a little soft or weak or whatever for watching this video or these videos um, because this is your motivation. But the reality is no, man. The motivation really always, always, always starts with you. So if you need to do, let's say, clean the kitchen, okay? And you got to motivate yourself to clean the kitchen. And if the only way you can motivate yourself to clean the kitchen is to, I don't know, watch a motivational video. And as soon as you're done watching that motivational video or speech, then you're ready to clean the kitchen. Well, you know what? You inspired yourself. You know what you need to inspire yourself and to motivate yourself to get from point A to point B. Look, for me, it's things like the camera. I got to be doing more than just one little thing. So, you know, me cleaning the kitchen, not only is it not fun, but it's something that I feel like, fuck, I could be doing so many other things. So now I can literally record myself okay and maybe make a little video out of it and um and then again just continue to grow and build and grow and build and grow and build and that's the thing um you know now i i am with a partner my wife you know which she encourages a lot of the things that i do and it's a lot easier and funner so now when we go out and about she's the one that's like hey so are you bringing the camera do you need help with this can i do this can i whatever and again it's not that she does anything but just the fact that she just says hey um you know what I mean? Are you going to film? Hey, do you, you know, you need help? And by need help means, hey, do you want me to just, you know, be uh, conscious that you're filming so that that way, you know, we're both on the same page. Not that she's going to be in the video, not that she's there as a producer or doing this or doing that. She's doing absolutely nothing. But just the, um, you know, just the, the fact that she's there, you know what I mean? Giving me the support, the moral support. It's, it goes such a long way. And so that's the, the, another motivational thing here, you know, where you need to surround yourself with the right people. And if you can't find the right people, then you just don't surround yourself with anybody. All right. And just do you like I did for a very long time. And I documented this whole fucking thing until now. Well, look at me now. Not only do I have the most amazing wife ever that is super crazy supportive of what I do, I am crazy supportive for what she does. We are madly in love and very happy together. Um, you guys already know the whole story. You guys have seen it on this channel. Um, now I got an amazing dog. I got so many amazing friends. A lot of you guys are watching this right now. Like literally virtual friends, you know, people that I know and friends, you know, from all over the world because of what I do but also local friends. I know so many people, so many people, you know what I mean? That literally, you know, will go, you know, to whatever length for me, just like I will go for them. And um, how do we become friends? Well, again, all I had to do was live my life, do me, put myself out there, and they came to me, and now we're together. And again, it's not like they came to me, you know what I mean? I came to them, we came to each other, we found each other, the universe put us all together, okay?
It's just like the universe is putting me and you here together. Whether this is the first video you watch of me or the 17th hundredth video you've watched, okay? It doesn't matter. You guys know exactly what, I, what I'm talking about here. So with that being said, I already see I'm gone over 20 minutes, all right? I already see Christian's done in the kitchen. I already see uh, Mr. Gizmo looking for trouble, all right? Hey, buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> and uh, and now I know that I, actually I need to get to the cleaning of the kitchen because then the whole point would be moot you know me doing these uh, this episode and doing what I'm doing if I don't get to actually clean the kitchen and, and and record it and again I don't have to record the process I'm gonna try to record the cleaning process and make a cleaning video for my cooking channel but if it doesn't turn out it doesn't turn out it's totally fine at the very least I got the kitchen fucking clean and that's at the end of the day what I was trying to accomplish right clean the kitchen just trying to do it in the most fun way possible so you know just to reiterate and come full circle you know the motivational thing is like it's very easy for me to motivate myself on a daily basis because i'm already doing what i want to do and i'm already living the life i want to live and everything about what i my life and what i do is what i want and what, what i desire and um, i'm putting myself in these positions but with that being said, you know, we still have a lot of human things that we need to do, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of just regular things that we got to figure out a way to motivate ourselves to get, you know, over that hump so that we can do them. And so, you know, whatever that is, you know what I mean? It could be so different for everybody, all right? Everybody has a different thing. Some, like my mom loves to clean. My mom would have already cleaned that kitchen 13 times in a row. But again, there's many things that I love to do and I would have, and I've done, and that's why I make a list. All right, and even though cleaning the kitchen might be at the top of my list, I put I make a list on purpose so that way I literally do all of the things on the list and I might leave the cleaning the kitchen for last, but by me procrastinating and not cleaning the motherfucking kitchen, I'm also doing other things because I look at my list and I'm like, okay, I got like these five things I gotta make or do. Um, and so I just procrastinate by not doing the one thing I hate, which is cleaning, you know, extra deep cleaning the kitchen, but I'll do the other things. And by the time that I come around and I finish that whole list and I got to finally end up cleaning the kitchen, well, it's, I don't feel bad. It's not like I was procrastinating doing absolutely nothing, not absolutely nothing. No, I was actually procrastinating doing everything else I had to do. So by the time I had to finish and clean the kitchen, like now, well, that's basically the last thing I got to do on my list, okay? And yeah, I even go out and record videos. I'll do everything, anything and everything but that one thing. And I know you guys can relate. But if again, if you guys know how to organize yourself, you got to organize yourself, uh, then again, all, the, all this is a moot point because... Again, I organized myself, I did all of my chores, and yet here I am still sitting on the last chore, not wanting to do it, and I'm recording a video, I'm going as far as restarting and doing Monday Motivation all over again, just because I don't want to clean the kitchen. But guess what, guys? I'm done with this video. The other video is still processing. I can't even edit this. I have no other choice but to clean the kitchen. So, guys, I gotta let you go because I gotta go clean the kitchen. Thanks again for watching. I hope today's, you know, I hope today's Monday motivation was great and awesome and you guys enjoyed it. Please help me out down below by letting me know. I'm going to also put a community post on, on my page so that you guys uh, can vote and see what else uh, we can do here. All right. What else, uh, what else I can put on this channel? What kind of content you want to see? I'm going to be doing Monday motivation, but what else? You know, you guys want me to talk about crypto. You guys want me to talk about technology. You guys want me to talk about the lizard peoples. You guys want me to talk about um, whatever. You know what I mean? Let me know because that'll help me, you know, make better content for the channel because yeah, I got the vlog here, but I also got vlogs everywhere, you know, so. All right, enough talking. This is getting too long. Guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys check out my website, joseatiaga.com, so you guys can see everything I'm doing. All the links to every channel and everything I'm doing is out there. Um, and that, I think, is the easiest and fastest, best way for you guys to just check out the whole Jose ecosystem. Just go to my website, joseatiaga.com. Link is down below. Please go to the website. Please check everything out. And um, that's it, guys. You already know what to do. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.